What is the truth? Identity is something we have in any moment of our life. Identity follows by tendencies which lead to actions and consequences and reality. If your identity is Bible, this process is beautiful and it makes a beautiful process and cycle. If you believe on your identity, then you live in that belief. Then try to keep in your mind to live in reality on God's words. Be aware of evils. Satan can make fool of us and lead us in these disasters which is false identity. It follows by bad tendencies and actions and consequences. The worst is to get an unreal and dangerous reality which make a very dangerous cycle. It is important to fill your identity with truth and live in truth. If you accept that, okay, I am sinner and I'll be saved by grace, it leads to commit sins and you still are in the dangerous cycle. When you are saved by Jesus and keep His and God's commandments, you avoid to sin and you are living freely. Sometimes you find yourself in a trouble and feel helpless. Ask God for help and have patience until God answers. If you don't wait or are in a hurry, you can make another decision which can be temporary and after a while stay in trouble. God's grace of God learn us to say no to evils in humanity's lies and injustices. If we become full leading uh, to sin, uh, it's uh, because of uh, that we didn't ask Jesus about that tendency. You must learn to evaluate things before you accept them. The important is to evaluate you with Jesus. Don't accept that, okay, I am a sinner and I be saved by God's grace. It is wrong, for you have accepted to be a sinner. Stop and accept that you have Jesus and God's commandments to follow in your life and have a healthy life. It stands that if you are not in Jesus and you have a sinful life, but if you are in Jesus, you have holy life. Because we are Adam generation and that Adam committed sin, then we human are sinner. Even a born child is a sinner. But God's love to humans sent Jesus as human to restore us human to God's heaven by accepting Jesus as our Lord and obey his commandments. If you accept Jesus in your life, then you get a holy life. But if you accept Jesus in your life, but you think that you are a sinner, then you don't live in your and uh, life's reality. If you think that you are a sinner and you are in Jesus, you are completely long, wrong. Before you joined Jesus, you were a sinner, but in the same moment you accepted Jesus, you are free. But you must believe and don't commit sins. You don't live for Jesus by accepting Jesus on the cross, but by accepting and adoring what Jesus did on the cross, saving very poor and sinning humans to a holy life. Don't repeat that you are a sinner saved by a grace, for you continue to commit sin. Accept that you are saved and that do not commit sin. 
anymore for as soon as you are saved your identity as a sinful finishes if you are in Jesus then you are holy and you will start a holy life and that all things are dead you can accept yourself holy but sometimes coming sins Jesus make us holy he defers the bad things and good things he remains good things in us making us pure and clean to meet the heavenly father God Jesus God Jesus called us to himself and save us and makes us holy God has made us pure clean and innocent in the, our spirit therefore we must keep us pure clean and innocent in the name of Jesus amen when you fail to keep these you find yourself in such situation which is different from God's purposes if you are holy and saint then you don't commit sins you must be focused on that on that be a saint and holy not only tell to the others let others understand that you are holy you must steer your tendency and avoid sin because your tendency is holy when you accept jesus in your life you your past is forgiven and you start new holy life you get a new identity and you must keep it safe by avoiding sins and obeying Jesus and God's commandments. As human we put in temptations, but you must be aware and don't do mistakes in the name of Jesus because you are holy and described as described above. As holy you must avoid the trashes as like as you don't put any trash in your living room or your bedroom. This, uh, the same is your body or soul and spirit. You don't accept any sin in them. I am not a sinner saved by God's grace. I am a holy who sometimes bears sin, but I can be restored by God's grace. There are many in pain and troubles. Sometimes countries have troubles and living in pain. Sometimes people have pain physically. Sometimes it happens natural disasters. God is kind and patient. God loves us, but when we do sins, He punishes us. People with physical problems think that God has been unfaithful to them. While if you study the anatomy, that disease is caused by the wrong nourishment. But God lets it happen to approve us. It works anyway by giving us the knowledge to help those people. But when we cause the pain in other countries, God gives those countries knowledge how to defeat by staying strong and have faith. When we people go over the boundaries by our sins, God punishes us by natural disasters. Sometimes these things happen in innocent countries to prove their faith. God gives them knowledge to defeat the disasters and survive. Corinthians 2 chapter 4 part 7 Jesus is the treasure and we people are the clay dishes or chest the Jesus light shine to us so that Jesus light from us God's words and grace shine over others the knowledge about Jesus and his commandments are very important to break in our body and mind so that the light shines beautifully over others as you understand the clay dish is very sensitive and breakable but with Jesus and his commandments this dish becomes beautiful and strong it, it is that victory God made it over Jewish who 
crucified Jesus and thought that they have had they had uh, defeated God and Jesus. Yes, we Christian are God's victory to spread God's commandments and build on the earth as in heaven through Jesus in our body and soul. We are God's and Jesus' voice. This is the power of God and His love to His Son Jesus. As like as God sent His Son as a human in this world, God understands our pains. Because Jesus had that pain. The most powerful prayer is that each day, let all your problems to Jesus so that he crushes them under his cross and uh, that deliver you from evils. Sometimes you have pain and you try your best to survive. You try different resources without any success. The important thing is that don't give up. Have faith and trust and pray for knowledge to make it. Let Jesus know your problems and believe that He solves them. If we realize that we have God's words wrecked uh, inside us, then we cannot be crushed by evils, but stay stronger after each smash from evils. Because God's words from us is strong and beautiful. We wear Jesus crucified by, uh, with us as the same as we wear Jesus life and live. Then wear and shine beautifully to please God and Jesus. If we have pain, it is not from the God, only evils. By your faith and strength, you can go through and glorify the Jesus life. Even we become broken, Jesus life shines through. Then don't lose your hope, only that Jesus heals you. If you see a good person like you, don't be ashamed to tell about your pains and let others talk about their pains. Pray for each other and try to heal each other's pains. Sometimes people are disappointed, but give them back the hope. Corinthians 2 part 1 Care about people in pain and give them tenderness. Guide each other in case your pain has been healed. Even you have pain, help others who has pain. Let Jesus' power flow to their life. Sometimes we crush our body by our wrong choices. If it is unconscious, it can be repaired. But if it is conscious, it is hard. If you confess and try to correct, it can be repaired. But what uh, God does is His grace. He can use do, uh, those crushes to glorify people and bring them to His imperium. Then he, be honest and talk about your pain and heal others' pain. We are sometimes why God doesn't heal us for his simple with uh, point the answer is that god will that everybody know his words and obey amen god's words are the connection between human and the god make that connection beautiful by understanding and respect and happiness don't stop it even when the holy spirit inspires us don't stop it be happy and listen and obey trust on what holy spirit inspire us and obey if you don't you become lost it is like to replace truth with lies if you accept lies you become unlucky for me times five part 20 god does his work via us who has jesus in our body then do the right to please them we are jesus ambassadors both in our country and in the world sing his song with happinesses 
Jesus grace push us front it's like a river flowing flowing between two walls when the walls become closer the river flows stronger and rapidly when our way becomes smaller we are pushed front quickly this is the Jesus power and trust on it understand it and follow it remember that Jesus died for us and we be, uh, become crucified with him we get the prophets we believers live for Jesus and God's plan which is making us holy causing to be in heaven for your life you need materials but don't be slave of materials because you leave them here and you only bring your life action and spirit to the other world when you are in Christ you leave the old past is forgiven for and forgotten and you are reborn Jesus raised from the dead his message is that if you will follow him or stay there Jesus gave give us peace then appreciate this gift keep you con your connection with God with peace faith and respect God has sent his glory to us by sending Jesus to us then make glory and send back to Jesus and the God we are Jesus ambassadors pray that Holy Spirit break Jesus words in us so that we can spread his words in the world the door is open obey God's commandments and get the eternal life pray that God helps you so that each time you send the messages the God's word come from your mouth and your heart Amen <laughs>